Heart and lung transplant patients can go through 12 to 15 invasive surgical biopsies in just a few years. We do this because we have no good way to do surveillance in our patients. With a simple blood draw, doctors look for exosomes, tiny packets released by cells into the bloodstream. They carry molecular information that could indicate early signs of organ rejection. It turns out these exosomes can be picked up that are released by these transplanted organs. And more importantly, their profiles seem to change very early on in the rejection process, which for us is very critical. That's because the exosomes carry proteins that are identical to the cell releasing them. Doctors then analyze that genetic code, which provides a biomarker of the patient's progress. If we can have a, t a blood test that can work as a first line of assessment and surveillance, and then follow up with the biopsy if there's any suspicion, it would make a huge difference. Meaning increased quality of life for the patient as doctors look deep inside the genetic makeup of the cells. What's inside is like a postcard that conveys the state of the organ, the cells in the organ, whether they're happy, whether they're under stress, or whether they're under attack. Elements that will let doctors monitor any organ without additional surgery. I'm Marty Salt reporting.